how they developed and where they are now. My bust warning is uh, our middleweight friend, the Ukrainian, uh, Kizniak, or however you say it. I was so close to saying that he was going to be a gold medal Ukrainian Olympian that was going to be lazily compared to Lomachenko and Usyk by someone in the future. And I was going to be like, oh, my God, like someone's going to compare this guy to those guys and say he's a technical boxer. And I mean, he, to me, he he's has a very easy comparison. It's Ivan Baranchek and uh, what was his name? Kitrov. Those two guys yeah, like yeah. that's that's actually a great comparison. Yeah, yes. a lot of respect of Kitrov, yeah. So, I mean, those are the guys, I mean, I see this guy, like you said, probably gets 10 and 0 in 10 round fights and four, four or five fights. And then I see a random top level guy, like an Emmanuel Elim, just knocking him out. And then everyone turns their back on him and he appears and disappears. That's kind of how I see him. That, I mean, it's a good pick. I mean, I mean, we kind of already saw it too. Like we didn't expect it to happen in the gold medal round. We kind of expected that once he turned pro, I think the expectations were going to be so high that he was going to let everyone down. Another one, uh, I hope Luka Bell is not watching. I, I'm curious to see what, you know, Bakadir Jalalov does as a pro. I don't, I, I wasn't blown away by his, he should have really blown through the, the field at super heavyweight. And he did, you know, he, he won the gold medal, credit to him. I'm not even 100% convinced that if Frazier Clark didn't go through the fight he went with in, against um, guys. Morad Aliyev? Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy yeah. enough to know all these names. Right. But I mean, I, I was surprised that he was even allowed to fight, you know, considering the cuts he had. He had a you know, quick turnaround. If he didn't have that fight, I'm not convinced he gets cut that easily against Jalalov. I mean, Jalalov probably beats him, but I, I just wasn't he, – he really should have run through the field for how much he was favored to win gold. I don't, I'm not sure how far he goes. Um, in the I was underwhelmed. I thought that it was very scary that he got a standing eight from Frazier Clark. Who's I'm a big Frazier Clark fan. He seems like the nicest guy. I can't wait to interview him. He seems like a great guy, but it's like, I think even he knows he's a limited guy. He kind of reminds me of a Tony Bellew, a guy who's going to fight for the fans, buy the crowd beers, but, um, <laughs> When you're getting a standing eight count from Fraser Clark, that means that you're just hanging yeah. out somewhere. Yeah, exactly. So, and you know, and to give you credit too, you even nailed it. I, I expected a lot more of um, Uzbekistan, you know, Uzbekistan 